please welcome to the stage Miss Beth de Blasi. And she'll be presenting Thriving, a Diagnosis of Cancer, sponsored by Collision Auto Repair Specialists. Oh, thank you. Life and death are concepts that we know. We know life when we're born, and we know death as we're living. But thriving is a concept that we're going to learn. We're going to learn in this life. In 1987, I lost my brother to AIDS. As they came into his home, they placed his body into a pinewood box and stamped AIDS on the outside as my family watched. The cruelty and paranoia of the AIDS epidemic left my family in a state of repression, of grief, pain, loss, that they would carry with them. In, 19, in 2006, Teen, sorry. In 2016, 30 years later, my sister Charlene would lose her life to thymic carcinoma cancer, a rare and non-curable disease. Eight months later, I would lose my father to complications from heart surgery. Because living with a broken heart isn't truly living. Dr. Lissa Rankin was quoted saying, that when our lives fall apart, we can either grow or we can grow a tumor. In the same year that I lost my sister and my father, I myself would be diagnosed with stage four neuroendocrine cancer, a rare and non-curable disease. I remember looking over at my sister Marcy, who happens to be my identical twin, and saying, I hope you've taken care of some of those organs. I'm going to need them. <laughs> she replied very lovingly, you should have been born a triplet. <laughs> <laughs> so I had these questions. I felt lost. I had no answers. So I saw a therapist. And I met my first advocate, my first superhero, the woman that would arm me with the power to ask new questions of who did I want to be now and how can I become her. I began to become certified in aesthetic oncology, created a program at City of Hope, which I'm a patient at, so that I could do facial therapy programs to connect with my fellow patients. I started a t-shirt campaign that's designed with a zebra because zebras are the symbol for neuroendocrine cancer, or what we call NETS. On this special t-shirt, I privately raise money to donate to raise awareness for patient education and rare diseases, and what it means to be a person with a rare disease. It means that there's few of us, and there's little known about our disease. This led me to meet an amazing woman named Giovanna Mbasi, which I donated the money I had raised to her organization called LACNETS. They invited me to speak at their national conference to share my story and my perspective. And then I realized that my brother, my sister, and myself had all been diagnosed with rare and non-curable diseases. They had lost their voice but I could be the voice for us all. So I began to mentor newly diagnosed patients. I began to become an advocate for others, spoke on patient panels to share my story, my perspective of what it meant to be an advocate and to need advocacy. And each time I embraced connection to advocate for another, I learned to advocate for myself. I had lost me in so many ways, but each time I advocated, I was able to find the me I was, the me I am now, and the me that I'm becoming. For me, rare doesn't always look like it's supposed to look. We don't always get look like the role we're meant to play, but we play that role anyway. I've been blessed to have a strong family, resilient children, strong 
and amazing, courageous women and men who walk this path with me. My sister did not know that I was carrying this disease when she passed. She lovingly had wrote letters to each of us a month before she died. These are the words that she left to me. They're inscribed on each of the t-shirts that I designed to raise money so that every person who wears one of these shirts knows her voice. I encourage all of you today to be brave, share your voice, and thrive in your life. Thank you.